with new put size on it uh, probably take me a few days I finish getting material and stuff I get some new posters and stuff to go on this so um, drop in I don't know how I'm gonna put it in or uh, on the outer here as you guys can see I'm just gonna close it around <laughs> using probably just a 10 is what I'm gonna do with it and as you guys can see here yeah I'm gonna use the 10 and I got it up on both sides. That's trying. That's stuck it up here, working with it. Show you guys what I got. I could test pull the tin from this one. Like that's already painted up and put it on this one. So I use this piece for demonstration. I'm using screws. I'm actually gonna use screws. See, I'm screw here. And I got a screw right here. And all same thing back there. I got to put another post up in here. So I can fasten it to real, real good. Cause that tart stuff just dry rot too bad. So I'm just gonna uh, go around it with tin. Thought I'd share this with you guys. You can take these portable garages and go around them with tin too. Um, that'll actually make them more permanent. As you can see here, once I get a post here, all this will be in like that. See here. I just got to put a four, uh, one of the four by four posters right here and then i could fasten it down real good and then and continue on down as you guys can see how this end this is scrap tin so it ain't gonna be perfect i'm using scrap tin i ain't trying to buy all that tin just using what i got and yeah, i'm gonna make it look good though but yeah there'll be a whole lot solider than this stuff here for a period of time this stuff just dry rot and after a while you'll be bulk size so you better always get you some tin. Well, it ain't gonna never go bad too much. No tin be here 20 years from now. As long as you keep it, keep it painted up or whatever. But uh, yeah, man, see here. Go around with that tin, you ain't got to worry about it. Yes, yeah, sir. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace.